Ah, hello, uh, Jacob here. I'm going to show you how to use this KT LCD V3 and configure it. So first off, you have to turn it on. You need to turn it on to get to the next menu. You can't start writing and then do the menu. Next trick, sorry for my hand, we're going to hold the two, two buttons, top and bottom, together until the screen turns bright. That's not what we wanted. Turn it off again. Can't get what you want if you miss it. All right, try again. One. There we go. So now the screen turns bright. We can configure it. First thing most you want to do is set your max speed to 72. That's all the controller supports. Then you can press your buttons to cycle through. Now it's interesting. This only works when you're on the wheel rim size selection. So what you do is you hold down the middle button just for one to two seconds you don't want to know i'll show you it's hard one, two. missed it see we toggle okay see how the screen stopped i'm not sure what i did there hold held for two seconds pressed a few buttons and everything stopped flashing but the screen is still bright what you do now is you hold down the two buttons again one two and ta-da we're in the config menu this lets you set up different uh, configs for the motors, limit amps and all, change pedal assist setup and stuff like that. So I'm just going to cycle through it to show you the settings I'm using. One. Alright, so that's it. Now you need, see how the screen stopped flashing again, just by cycling through all the options. Nothing's flashing. So if you hold down the top and bottom button again, Okay. Like it? Yes. And ta-da, we're into the second or third layer of the menus. So C1, C2, C3. I have a PDF up on my website that uh, explains all the um, settings and what they do. Managed to get that from the supplier. N, I don't know what the N is. 11, 12. And that's it. And then to exit, it's very simple. You just hold down your button, middle button and back to normal. And that's it.